friends, I'm Mrs Walsh. I'm the head teacher at Palfrey Infant School. Uh, as we can't join together in the hall for this year's induction, I've done a short video to hopefully answer some of the questions that you may have. There's also a PowerPoint with lots of information on about the school too. You will shortly be receiving um, an email with a date for one-to-one -one meetings with your child's new class teacher. The one-to-one -one meetings will be either on the 6th, the 7th or the 8th of September and this is an opportunity for you to come in and to talk to the class teacher before your child starts school. The children will transition into school in smaller groups so on Thursday and Friday the 9th and 10th of September, the children will be continuing with their nursery times if they joined our school nursery, so morning nursery or afternoon nursery times, and any new children will be given a set time as well. All of this information is in the PowerPoint that you can see on our school website. It also gives you the names of the reception teachers, Miss Dennis in class one, Mrs Ward in class two, and Miss Stackhouse, who is the year group lead in class three. You've also got the six members of support staff listed as well. There are also pictures of myself, Mrs. Walsh, the head teacher, Mrs. Cleaver, the deputy head teacher, and Mrs. Adams, who is our parent support advisor. So first, the school uniform. We do ask all children to wear school uniform if possible. The information of where to purchase the school uniform is in the school brochure. Our uniform is a navy blue sweatshirt, either with a logo or not, a red polo shirt, black, grey trousers or a skirt, leggings or a pinafore dress and black shoes. What we also ask is all the children have a labelled water bottle with only water in it uh, in case we have uh, children who have allergies. Please can you also make sure that all of the items are labelled as when children take them off, um, all of them strangely are age five to six and it's very difficult to find out whose is who if it hasn't got a name in. In addition to that, next year, we're going to ask the children on their PE days to, be cut, to come to school dressed ready for PE. And we would ask them to wear joggers or leggings, trainers or the black pumps and a white t-shirt. And if they want to wear a jumper, their normal school um, sweatshirt will, will be okay for that as well. Due to the COVID pandemic, school still does look a little bit different, but we are returning to some normality and we're moving to a year group bubble as opposed to a class bubble situation. So all 90 children will be mixing next year, which means that we'll be going back to girls and boys toilets and um, ensuring that the children are continued to be safe. We will be asking you to arrive on a stagger at either 8.50 or 9 o'clock and school will finish at either 3 o'clock or 3.10 and those times are again on the school website and we would ask you to stand by the reception gate which is to the right hand side as you look at the school. hour for reception is from 11.30 till 12.30 so from 11.30 till 12 the children will have 30 minutes to eat their lunch in their class bubbles um, with their lunchtime supervisor and then they go out onto their class section of the playground mixing only with their 30 children from their class but being able to see all 90 children from their year group. At the end of the school day, we would ask you to arrive promptly for your class time. So that would either be three o'clock or 3.10. And again, those times are on the school website. If you need to contact the school, you can do that in several ways. You can phone the school on 01922 720 713 
or you could email support at palfreyinfant.co.uk. If you are sending someone else to collect your child, can you just phone the school so that we are aware or tell myself or Mrs Adams on the school gate in the morning so that we are aware of who is collecting the children. We will not send the children home if someone else collects without us being told. One of the key changes since uh, lockdown is our move to online learning, which we will be continuing to do next year. So we actually use three platforms, those being Google Classroom, Purple Mash and Rising Stars Reading. If your child had a login in nursery, that will continue. And if your child is new to the school, they will be given usernames and passwords for you to access those, as that is where we'll be putting the children's homework and Rising Stars Reading are their reading books whilst the children are at Palfrey Inference from reception all the way up to year two. We would also ask you to fill in the pupil premium funding form as this enables us to get more money from the government to support your children whilst they're in school. Thank you very much. Also, we need to think about how to get your children ready and excited about coming to reception. There are several things that you can help with. Again, encouraging them to sit and to listen and to enjoy a story with you to hold and use a pencil using the grips that we have taught, uh, possibly using a knife and fork and helping them to eat independently as they will be having a school meal. Understanding when a teacher says no and to stop, that they must stop what they're doing, ready to listen. That they can put on their own shoes and their own coat independently that they can go to the toilet independently and feel happy with doing so and that they can enjoy a number of stories and rhymes. For instance, the Gruffalo, the Little Red Hen, all of those traditional tales. The most important thing you can do to help your child get school ready is to talk to them about the world around them. Get them helping you with some baking at home or some cooking get them walking with you in Palfrey Park, talking about the trees and the flowers and the things that they see around them, to encourage and that foster that love of learning that we can then develop once they're in school with us. From September, the government have asked that we would do a, a reception baseline that all reception children will be doing across the country and the sorts of things that their children will be assessed on is knowing their colours, counting by rote from 0 to 10, knowing their numbers and recognising their numbers from 0 to 10, recognising their basic shapes, recognising letter sounds, starting to blend if some children can do that, how to hold a pencil correctly and handwriting patterns, all of those things will be assessed and then use to move your child forward. The children will also be assessed to see if they can write their name. Again, I would ask you to do this using only lowercase letters, not capital letters, and have a go at that if the children can do it. If they can't, don't worry about it. That's our job to help them. As your child reaches statutory school age, it's really important that they come to school every day as we need to be have them in school so that we can help them get as clever as possible. Mrs Adams, our learning mentor and pastoral lead, also monitors attendance and she will be calling you if she, we have any concerns about your child's attendance to try and encourage them to come to school more often. There's inf more information on the school website, on the school PowerPoint that I've done for reception induction. So please take a look at that. There's also information from Mrs. Adams on that PowerPoint of how she can help get your child ready for school in terms of toilet training. If you've got a child who is a fussy eater, we have advice on that. And if you need any other support, please let us know so that we can help as the summer holidays is the ideal time for us to get that support in place prior to starting school. 
if you take a look at our school website there's lots of information in there if you want to practice the letter sounds there are some videos of myself doing the initial letter sounds and showing you how to do that with your children the children will start doing their sounds lessons as soon as they start school in september unless of course they've been to nursery where they have been practicing those already i hope you found the video useful the most important thing is to try and encourage your children of how exciting school is going to be talk about all of the friends that they're going to meet and all of the exciting things they're going to be learning about we look forward to seeing you in september thank you Thank you.